You see, I'm not going to renounce my Christianity. And no, no, you that that that, 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 that nobody asked you. That you've been done already. I, I hear what you're saying. My, my my whole point to round up what you're saying is, I agree with you in a lot of ways. The Bible contradicts itself, or seems to contradict itself. My point is that the men that wrote the Bible were not perfect. I don't think God sort of sat down on the guy's shoulder and said, you know, in his ear, okay, and then told him word for word what to write. I think if I see something happening in the street and I wrote an account of it, and that gentleman that I saw the street saw the same thing and he gave an account, would our accounts be the same? You see, basically, it maybe it the general, the very, very basic general outline of the story would be the same. But the big thing, you see, once you don't contradict themselves. No, no, listen, listen. The book says. That Solomon had 4,000 stalls of horses. Yeah. Another guy says he's inspired by God, he says he had 40,000 stalls of horses. Four and 40. Does that make a difference to you? Difference of 36,000. Do you know that? Oh, can I huh? sure. Right. And now the Jews, they didn't know the zero. They didn't know the zero. They wrote it in words. They wrote 4,000 in Hebrew, F O U R 4. Yeah. They wrote 40, F O R T Y, 40,000. Yeah. There's a difference of 36,000. Who is inspired out of the two? Hmm? Then this book says, one guy, one guy here, you read there, he says, he says that that guy is an Ishmaelite, and another says he's an Israelite, the same fellow. But if I told you that Muhammad was a Jew, an Israelite, that guy tells you Muhammad was an Ishmaelite, an Arab. But Ishmael is, is, is Ishmael the son, children of Ishmael are the Ishmaelites. The children of Israel are the Israelites. Yeah, I right? think now, um, uh, Israel, not Israel, what, what's the word? Israel Jacob. and, and someone else in Isaac, the same Isaac, place. Isaac. Oh, yeah, it's the same person, eh? No, no, no. Oh, it no, means no. the same. Ishmael and Isaac. No, man, they're two. There was a poster downstairs at a cafe I saw and it had all the Muslim names and then names in brackets all the other way around. No, no, whatever that is. Uh, Jacob was. Uh, Yago. Yeah. No, no, that means that how we pronounce. We pronounce it Yago. Yusuf. Like that. Yusuf. We say, you say Joseph, we say Yusuf, is the same person, but that's the way of pronouncing. Yeah. Dialect, dialect, you see. But now, if I'm telling you that Jesus was an Arab, that guy said, you say Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. One of us is spe not speaking the truth. Yeah. In this case, we know who's not speaking the truth. I'm a liar. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. But suppose we didn't know, we didn't know, we didn't know about a fellow, and you said he was Jew, and I say he was an Arab. Yeah. Both of us could be liars. Both of us could be liars. Am I right? Yeah. But in the, our case about Jesus, you are speaking the truth and I am speaking a lie. Yeah. Right. So now you open the book. Open the book. 1 Chronicle 2.17. Mm -hmm. It tells you that the guy they mentioned, he is an is Ishmaelite. 2 Samuel 17, verse 25, it says he is an Israelite. Now, coming from the same God, does God know what he's talking about? Does he know the difference between Ishmaelite and Israelite? Does he know the difference? Does he know? He, God doesn't know. That means he's no God. He's some man sitting on some, some throne. He's telling you, say write down my son Jesus is a Jew. And he's telling that man, say write down my son Jesus is an Arab. Can they think that originates from the same God, both these statements? And to say that one of those prophets that wrote that down was, was wrong? Or both of them are wrong. Or one of them is wrong, definitely. That's your book. And I show you a hundred like that. Jesus says, Jesus says, He says, of those that have given me, I have lost none. None means not one. Not one. Yeah. In the next chapter he says, of those that you have given me, I have lost only one. Now the, the difference between one and none. Where is that? <laughs> John, John 17:12. John chapter 17 verse 12. John 17 12. Read it, my son. While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name. The name you gave me. I protected them, and none of, one of them was lost except the man who was bound to be lost. So the description might come true. Right. The same John chapter 17, he says he lost only one. And here he says he has lost none. The difference between none and one, you know how many percent is that? Just, I'm just going to read the context of this because I've actually read this a long time ago and I don't remember it. Okay. Um, 
just to look at the context of the I'm just, just going to wrap these yeah. two down. Yeah. So, I've actually got a lot of work to, to do, and I don't want to waste time. Me too, I'm also a very busy man, but I sacrificed my whole morning. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. That's still. That's still. That's still. That's still. That's still. You took that Bible out? Yeah, no, that it's is, my Bible. That is still. Still. That is still, yes. Are you see, please look, may I ask for my Bible back? You took it from there, that is still. I just absented myself for two seconds, and this is what you do. You are a man of spirit, a spiritual person. You said, I renounce Christianity. I'm quoting your words. And he says, throw this in the dustbin. I was joking. I was frustrated. No, no, that's what you said. Now you must be a man of your word. As a spiritual person, you had no right to pick it up. Okay. That was stealing. Please, may I have my Bible back? No. No. Please, to me. no. Give it so to me. Give it to me. I want my Bible. No. Yes. Wait, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is there a toilet I could go to quickly? Yes. Um, one second. Yeah. Show me the toilet. Thanks. Mr. E.B. Rockhart. Oh, he's really good. So we, did, we were searching for it. So we just did it from going to Mars. Yeah, we're going now, yes. Okay. You can join us. And then... And I want to go there, but the thing is, I've still got a lot of work I left to do. Um, so I'm going to come some other time. You again, come, very you come, soon. You come about half past twelve. Half past twelve. And then prayer time, you can go down and watch and come and have lunch with us. Okay. You'll enjoy the curry and rice as well. Yeah. You see? I love curry. You know, we, we didn't offer you anything at all today. You said you had no, some tea, coffee before you came. Coffee but next around. time, curry and rice. Okay, you know, great. Inshallah. Um, I'll, I'll come in, in the morning and, and make a make an appointment. No, 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 you don't have to make an appointment. You just come along any just weekday. Any yes. Come here. Okay. Lovely. Uh, this, this is the uh, unbelievable morning, man. This is like the time of my life. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you. And can I have my Bible, please? No. Mm -hmm. I need that Bible. No. My mom and dad gave it to me for Christmas. The Christian, you see, I had another Christian from a university after one of my lectures in the city hall. Yeah. And he tells me, he said, look, I don't agree with you. I said, but you have a right. What, what you don't agree with? He heard my lecture. He can tell me nothing. Uh, but I don't agree with you. See, Christ is the way. I said, look, man, his teachings, you can't practice them. He said, no, I can. I said, look, Jesus said, it has been said by them of old time, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, resist not evil. He who strikes you on the right cheek, give him the other. Yeah. So are you prepared to? That I strike you on the right cheek and you give the other. Yeah. He said, yes. Right. Come on. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. He, he said, oh, right, okay. he's prepared to. Yeah. That means he can follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right? So I withdrew. That means he won the first round. See, I didn't want to dirty my hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so clear. Then I said, Jesus also said, said, he who comes to borrow of you, turn now. And he said, he says, if a person takes away your uh, coat, you give him a cloak also. Mm. Are you prepared to do that? He said, yes. He had a lumber jacket on. I said, the lumber jacket. So he took it out. Yeah. I said, the jersey as well. The jersey he was wearing under the lumber. He took the jersey out. <laughs> then I said, no, Jesus said, he who comes to borrow of you, turn down not away. So he who borrows... He who comes to borrow of you, turn down not away. Yeah. Means respond to him, give it to him. Good, sir. I said, how much you got in your pocket? Uh, I said, how much have you got in your pocket? He said, you need it. He said, I got, don't look at my suit. <laughs> I said, I need it. Come, take it out. No, he couldn't. He couldn't. You see, now his religion went only up to so far. Yeah. That he was prepared to do. He was prepared to give his jacket, lumber jacket and his jersey. Now I said, the money. Come on, come on. Let's see how, you, how far you can follow him. 
So, no, no, no. That he can't part with his money. Huh? So, this is where he could go? No, nah, he's about to go. He says, I want my jacket. I said, what for? What for? Damn it, you gave it to me. That means you're only showing her, scoring her point. Yeah. See? So, I said, no, no, no. So, this, the bloom and follow. He cried. <laughs> he cried. I said, you won't get it. And he didn't get it. I said, give it to the poor. Yeah. You won't get it. So, in other words, now, man, to me, a man is a man of his word. He's right. I give my life, you must be prepared to give your life. Uh, right. We are going to pray now. Uh, no, we're not in the office. I need my Bible. It's, uh, my mom and dad gave it to me, even if it has a, uh, what do you call it, has sentimental reasons. <laughs> right, come, let's move. You can't. Come. If you threw it away, it's gone. He told me, throw it in the dustbin. Uh, my mom and dad are going to kill me if I lose that. Right. Can I help you couldn't organize something as you did, could you please? Legal. Tomorrow, so come tomorrow. Okay, I'll put a... Everyone leaves that up. My mom and dad, they'll kick me out the house. Okay, so I can be prepared. You lock up for prayer? Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, why is there so many languages? I believe that he, he threw gay and denounced Christianity. Uh, he said that it's... He feels that uh, if you can stay in the courtesy of giving him the Bible, uh, you can feel free in talking to Father. Let me tell you, <laughs> you don't get offended. No, no, my loud he, speaking. That's his nature. Not to frighten you. No, no, I understand mm -hmm. your position. Mm -hmm. your position. I talk, I shout, and all that, you know. Like, he intends, like he, I, that's what I do. He treats you like a son. That's why he shouts. He treats no, you like a son. The same thing. Father to a son. Thank you. Oh, yes. yeah. No, no. What I have a proposition for you. I don't want okay. to deprive you of that Bible. <laughs> okay, thank you. There's one small condition. Yes. I want you to be your pastor. Okay. To prove to me that the Bible is God's word. That's all. Wow, guys. You can just imagine how it all started. I mean, that was even talking about Solomon. Even the young pastor was flabbergasted. He was surprised that I mean, did that know a lot of information he knows more about the bible than him himself that is a christian or is a pastor so i mean did that just stepped out for a minute he asked him a question he could not answer he stepped out for a minute saying he was coming when he came back he, he met the man jotting down checking his bible I did told, told him that he's a thief that i asked a question if you are a pastor you should be spirit filled you should be filled with the word of God. You should know the word. You should know your Bible well. And the man was like, oh, he just wanted to be sure. This the man said, I mean, that's a, it's wrong. It's wrong. That's where most of you pastors or most of you Christians get it wrong. You want to uh, preach the gospel. You want to tell people about Christianity. But you yourself don't know much about your, about your religion, about the Bible. So he gave an instance where another person came to you know, deliberate with him on by uh, regarding the Bible, and um, uh, I mean, that asked the man question that if you know in the Bible, Jesus said, when somebody slap you on your left cheek, you turn the other one so that they will slap. He said, if I do that, will you allow me? Will, will you allow me to do that to you? And will you accept it? That can you prove that you're a true follower of Jesus? And you can you can do that say oh why not why not say okay no problem so and i said what of if i say okay give out one of your clothes the man said oh i can give out my jacket then when the man was going was like ah, i need my jacket then you're not ready to sacrifice i believe that sacrifice also involves in use proving that you are a true follower of jesus as a true follower of jesus you need to sacrifice i think that's what most muslims they sacrifice a lot they, they, they know about Jesus Christ, they sacrifice, they give out to charity, they do humanitarian services, in which just very, very few Christians do that. You are claiming to be God's child, or children of God, or the sons of God, Jesus, or you are claiming to be the follower of Jesus Christ, and you cannot sacrifice to your neighbor. I mean, that was like, it's just a jacket. I I collected from you. It's not your complete outfit. I collected a jacket from you and you are no crying that, oh, you need this your jacket. You cannot go without your jacket. Like, seriously? 
is that is that how you prove that you are truly is that how you can prove that you are truly a, a follower of jesus that it's it's wrong so the other pastor was like just you know nodding his hell smiling and i think when amelita came inside he, he collected the bible from that young pastor and when amelita was done with this discussion because amelita told him to come the next day that it, there's only for him to uh, um book an appointment and one thing I love about Amedita's statement was like, oh, I offered you food, but I said, yeah, oh, okay, that next time make sure you eat. You know, he was trying to show, he was being hospitable. He was trying to show care, love, you know, the interaction was smooth. It's only when you, 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 you disagree with him or you, uh, you debate wrongly with Amedita, that's when he shout or scream or you know talk ashley i noticed that about him but if you are calm to listen to what he has to say if you want to counter him counter him with proof don't counter him without proof and you are thinking that you will just let it be no that's why sometimes you hear him speak so many ash words you hear him speak a lot of ash words so that is it that is it. So I made it that was I told the man that oh this man was like ah, he cannot go. His mommy <laughs> he was sounding more like a mommy's boy, that pastor. My mommy, oh, I'm worried about my mother. Oh, I, on top of what? On top of Bible. I don't get it. I see the luggages the man carried to his house. I don't know where he was coming from. The next day they have another discussion. I made it that and I said, okay, prove to me that Jesus is the, is God. And you know, maybe I'll try and get the clip somewhere else so we can check it out together. That was a beautiful one, guys. That was a beautiful one, guys. Let me know your thoughts regarding this video. And thank you so much to some of you that always give me some super thanks, always dash me some money. I mostly react to these um, videos because of the passion I have for Islam. And I'm taking it step after the other. Thank you so much. God bless you. There was a time that I turned on my membership notification on, and um, I don't know the 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 the, the response was really really ro low, and it was affecting my channel. I don't know if you guys, you know, I don't know if I should turn it on back. And I really appreciate all of you that keeps on, you know, seeing my efforts to learn this, uh, to learn Islam see my effort towards this passion of you know of knowing the truth thank you so much god bless you but that was a beautiful one guys thank you thank you so much for watching for to this moment you guys are my real vvips i really love you guys thank you god bless you and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share, and comment i'll see you guys in the next one bye